orange first, maybe. Well, let me kind of explain to what I did with these. So with these two, I did both of them kind of differently. So for this first one, it goes like upside down. The mold is upside down. So you have, it'll like go back in like this. See all the tops right here? It'll go in like that. So what I did with this one, was this first layer. I just did clear resin, no paint, with some sparkles. So I poured that in first. And then while it was still like brand new, fresh, wet, um, not tacky or anything like that, I poured in my next layer, which was just a little tiny bit of pink mixed in. And then it also had some sparkles in there. And then after that, I actually took just like sparkles and I sprinkled it on here. And I had them, they kind of like floated down. You can kind of see like a thick line right here. And that's the sparkles that I poured on top. And then I just kind of finished it off with clear resin. And then I just kind of like did a little swirl so it could kind of mix in with the paint that was still floating at the top here. Um, so yeah, that's what I did with this one. And this one was my first one, and it turned out pretty well, except, um, I did it in my garage, and the surface is uneven, it has like a slope to it, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little, little tilt to it. This one, by the way, this is how you demold them, it's super easy, they just pop right out. Um, this one... I honestly don't even remember what I did. What did I do? I think I just poured in clear resin with some sparkles. And then I dropped in four drops of green paint. And I actually took a fork because I was in my hotel room when I did this one. I took a fork and I just like smashed it down in there. And if you don't notice, these two are different sizes. So... Basically, this one's thinner, the bottom is thinner than this one. I don't even know if you can see my fingernail on this one, but yeah, it's pretty much really, really thin, and it was just because I didn't have enough resin to fill it up all the way, so this mold, there's like a little bit of see so I just fill it up like just a little bit instead of all the way up um, so yes and I have three different glitters I have glitter flakes I have regular kind of thick glitter and then I have some extra fine glitter I got this one at Michael's and I got these at Joann's and pretty much everything else like my mold my paints I've gotten at Michael's I love Michael's but for some reason I ended up in Joann's and then these this one I got at Joann's but I've gotten it at Michael's before Michael's actually has more of a more of a selection so I kind of liked it better at Michael's but anyways again I'll probably try to make kind of like one of each again we'll see so I'm gonna start and guys I use my hands it's probably really not that great for you though um, resin can be toxic so be careful I got like a flake on my eyeball the other day and it was not fun so I actually want to do glitter flakes today. I have not worked with this yet and I'm kind of excited. So I'm just pouring it straight into the resin guys. It's just going right in there. And though right now it's just floating at the top and I'm just gonna mix it in. 
see how much it does, how much it doesn't do. You can't really see them too much in there. They kind of blend in really, really well. Um, you can kind of see the shiny in there. They're in there. Super cool. I'm liking this look right now. I'm in love with like the holographic type of look. Makes me so happy. So again, there's a lot of bubbles popping up in here. I think you can finally kind of see them now. Um, I'm just gonna leave it be. They will float to the top. Um, and kind of pop on its own. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Let me be right back. So this is also a tool that I use. Um, it's for popping bubbles. So yeah, let's see what happens. Just wanted to remind you. I forgot that. I just set that to the side. I might honestly just do like a completely clear one. It might be kind of cool. Ooh, maybe I should add some other glitter in here. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna like this one a lot. I like the clear look. I don't really like colors too much. I'm kind of a weirdo. Like, I like colors, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but look at how sparkly it is. I love sparkles. Can't tell by my nails. Yay. I might add in the other glitter, too, just for fun. Why not? And I don't like to take off the covering for it because I'm scared I'm gonna spill glitter everywhere in my room. And I'm not willing to clean it up. So unless one of y'all wanna come clean my room, which I don't think you do, I'm not taking that lid off. Because you know, glitter is the herpes of crafts ends up anywhere and everywhere. So again, mixing more and more and more. Kind of getting it off my fingers. glitter flakes in there because I'm kind of drowning now in all the glitter. I just grabbed like a good kind of pinch size. Put that in there. Oh yeah guys, this is like super shiny, fun. I'm loving it. Okay. Sorry. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Once you're done with that, and by the way guys, once you do mix the hardener and the resin, it's going to start getting hot in here. So just like a warning with that. 